Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? We all out here in my leather shop, and I just want to show y'all a few things I've been working on there and uh, made for a customer. Also, we got a, another knife that came in there. Uh, I'll show you there. So right here is a uh, sawbuster knife sheath right here. The customer, he wanted 1776 stamped on it. So it turned out real nice. It's uh, just a fold over design with a uh, brass snap right there. He wanted a uh, closed top to keep his knife secure. So I made him that. And also he wanted a Sidebuster Junior knife sheath. And uh, he wanted a uh, eagle. It's got a shield right here holding a shield. So one of y'all can pick up on that. And it's got the brass snap also. Turned out real nice. So I made that for him, uh, him and I also going to be doing some more uh, work on the holster. Uh, I need his eyes. And uh, this knife right here, this is a mortar knife. I've never bought any of these knives before. And I find it funny, I ordered from Amazon, y'all. And uh, it came in a uh, package like this right here. Uh, got Amazon on it. I thought that's kind of weird having the Amazon on it. Anyway, this is a uh, more companion knife. And uh, like I said, I've never bought one of their knives before. Uh, I've not done no research on it besides uh, seeing them. A lot of people uh, online uh, use them for different things, uh, bushcraft, uh, just all around uh, knife throwing your truck or whatever. It comes with a uh, plastic sheath and a belt clip. So. Let me see here. This particular one, it is a carbon uh, blade on it. It's supposed to be a 1095 steel. So I like that. That should be, uh, you know, a good knife. Just 1095, good metal. So it's uh, made in Sweden. And this knife, y'all, didn't cost me like 13. Tax on maybe about like 15 dollars. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't believe a uh, knife, you know, like this would be 15 dollars. But anyway, it's got a Scandi uh, grind on it. Uh, so good and sharp. This uh, side cuts on this leather right here. Man, no problem at all. I tell you, uh, looks like that's going to be a cutter for sure. Um, got a nice, let's see how the handle is. That's plastic. Y'all, it's got a rubber over mold. It's plastic. And then it's, this is all rubber right here. Uh, feels like a good grip. If you're in water or having to clean uh, something. I imagine this would be a good uh, camp knife. Uh, you could also use it, you know, for, you know, clean your game. It's got a, uh, some bit like a clip point to it right here. So, uh, it'd be useful for a lot of different uh, things. Not sure it made the best skinning knife, but if you, uh, you know, just a good camp knife or let me see the back side of this here. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's very, very rough on the back side. It's not smooth at all. Is that camera picking that up? Very rough. So I've never bought a knife like that before. And they might have made that, y'all, intentional like that to keep it rough for using a, uh, you know, a fire starter. Being able to strike, you know, the steel. But uh, other than that, y'all, it's a real nice knife. Um, so I just want to bring y'all along show you that new knife there I got. And uh, I'm going to be making me a uh, leather sheath for that knife. And this sheath here, like I say, it, it would be fine, you know, uh, just got a nice uh, retention right there. 
I know it's right there on the, it's got like a put your thumb right there and help you uh, pull out on that knife the bottom has got a hole in it there all right y'all uh, I just want to bring y'all along and show you that knife there and make this a little quick uh, video show them sheaves I made and uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video y'all I appreciate y'all coming along watching and as always friends my family years y'all have a blessed day we'll see you later bye bye